imagine like that, but mm. Harry's Harry's face. Yeah. He'd look great bald. I don't think we should shave his head. Why not? Will's is bald. Yeah, it's not Charles the point. Charles is going bald. It doesn't matter. Camilla's looking patchy. But it's the fucking wedding day. We've got to do something to humiliate the bridegroom. Beard. Okay. Shave his beard. How about that? We're not going to shave his beard. Imagine if the press got hold of that. I Why mean, they'd be they all over it like a rash. They go, finally, he's shaved off that fucking ginger cat off his chin. You're not in Afghanistan anymore, Harry. What's your problem with him being in Afghanistan? All right, fine. So if the press see it, that's a problem. So we need to do something that they can't see, but we know. Right. Yeah. What? What, you don't know? No. What, his balls? No. I think... Imagine I... the walk up the aisle. He looked like a cockney. Yeah, I don't think we can shave the heir to the throne's balls. It'd be treason. I think it's only treason, correct me if I'm wrong, if you do it in the abbey... On, on Michaelmas Eve, yeah. you're right. You're right. Oh, fuck, mate. We've, we've, we've missed a trick here. Okay. A W on either arse cheeks, and when he bends over, it says, wow. What is your obsession with balls and arses? Have you got an obsession with you balls? You have. Balls? I haven't got an obsession. Yes, you I have. I have not got an obsession with balls and arses. All right? Drop it there. Look, we... Uh, we just have to, we have to find something that's inoffensive. Okay, that's what it is, that's what we need to find. Strip him naked, tie him to a tree, in Hyde Park, with a sign that says, I'm not Prince Harry, I'm just an attention seeker. Right, and then he gets arrested for public indecency, banged up and misses his own wedding. Brilliant. Yeah, that's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> It's an anecdote.